Hi guys. So today we're going to be looking at this. Uh, I believe it's a 20 2004. So it's basically a 20 20 by 4 character display, as you can see. And uh, I've been playing me a game. Um, I think the guy that originally made the the, the base source code for this was uh, I think it's Hacker or Hacker IO or something like that. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, so I've done a few changes to it. Uh, changed the uh, obviously the score and the distance and that added a top score to it. I sorted out a few bugs that was on there as well. And uh, I've also added it so because before it was a set speed and uh, so it was quite it was more of an endurance thing than anything else. Whereas now it actually gets faster as it levels up. So it'll actually get harder to to do. It's just a single button. I'm just using that one. There is two in, but I'm only using the one. And uh, obviously, it's measuring the distance there. And obviously, there's no there's no high score at the moment. So obviously, it's going to go off whatever score I'm getting at the moment. But, uh, pretty fun. That's what happens when you crash. Like I say, top score will save. So obviously I got to two there. But yeah, anyway, uh, basic wiring for it is we've got, like I say, a 20 by 20 by 4 LCD. Really common on eBay. Uh, on the back here, rather than using all them pins, I've got a I2C converter. So I've just got the two power wires and then uh, SCL and SDA. And that's how I'm actually communicating with it. Um, so yeah, it is, it is actually impossible, this the way I've done it. Um, unless you're really, 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 really fast at pressing this button. Um, obviously we've got the two buttons in here. I've got uh, the button I'm using is in digital pin 2. The other button's going to digital pin 4, but it's not being used. That's the ground for the buttons, so obviously these are being pulled high. And obviously it detects when it gets pulled low. Obviously when you press that, it's tech pulling it to ground, so it's obviously going to send that low signal and trigger. And then I'm using the SCL and the SDA on this side here. Or you could use a, a A4 and A5, these two here. These two. But I'm just using them to obviously power, that's it. That's all you need. Uh, but yeah, it's a nice little fun project if you got one of these. I've got loads of these screens uh, hanging about, so uh, so it'd be fun for anyone wanting to to do something. I say all single button. It's all pretty much ready to go. I'm uh, I'm still working on it, but I'm going to make the code available. Uh, so if any of you want to try and uh, and uh, make this project. Uh, it shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, if you have any problems, just let me know in the uh, comment section. Um, I'm also uh, at the moment creating a case to go around this, and uh, I'm going to be changing that out for a Pro Mini, so it can fit behind it. Because a Pro Mini will fit behind the back of this board, no problem. Because that sticks out quite a bit, you see. So I could stick another a Pro Mini along there somewhere. Obviously, use some tape to stop it from conducting, but stick a Pro Mini on the back to run it and then put it in a case and just have a single button on the front but yeah, that's the map, see if you can beat my top score I managed to get level 3 or score 3 <laughs> well, uh, thanks for watching, uh, like I say, any, any any issues or anything like that just let me know and I'll uh, thing I will be updating the code as and when I get time and uh, also there'll be some, uh, like I say, the box, the 3D printed box will be available shortly I'm just uh, currently making it and well I'm printing it off at the moment and uh, probably have to make a few adjustments before I release it and then that will be available on Thingiverse as well so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe